Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson of Danny Foy Actual Speaking. It's great to have you back and my name is Jennifer Clyde. It's time for lesson 38. Now for those of you that tuned in, in lesson 37 we talked about traffic violations, breaking traffic laws or regulations, and today we'll focus more on accidents. So car accidents will be the topic for today. Now car accidents are also called auto accidents or motor accidents, so please do keep that in mind. Now I did some research while preparing today's lesson and uh, I found out a lot about car accidents that happen globally. Now they say that it is the leading cause of death by injury and about the 10th leading cause of all deaths globally. So car accidents do happen not only in Korea but around the world in all different countries. It is very important that we all safe uh, or we all drive safely and abide by traffic laws. Uh, there also was some information about how these seatbelt use laws actually did bring down or drop uh, the rate of injuries. Mm, so that's something good, right? Buckle up everyone when you drive. Okay, once again, the topic for today is car accidents. Let's find out how we can talk about this topic and what we could mention in an interview or in a conversation when we're talking about car accidents. Here we go. Now, before we begin our warm-up segment, here are a few questions I would like to ask you. Now, brainstorm on your own. Have you seen a lot of auto accidents? Have you been in any? We'll be brainstorming those in just a bit. But uh, traffic road, I guess, injuries or car accident injuries could be prevented. They are predictable and preventable as well. So I guess it depends on good habits, especially when it comes to driving and abiding by traffic laws. So let's begin brainstorming our cues about today's topic, car accidents with the five W's and how question. First of all, our first W question is, as always, a who question. Who was at fault in the car accident? Now, let's imagine that we're talking about a certain accident, an accident that you saw or one that you were involved in. So who was at fault? Whose fault was it? Okay. Who was at fault in the car accident? Moving on. Who, if anyone got hurt, who got injured? Who got hurt in the accident? Who got injured in the accident? So these are some things we can talk about when talking, talking about today's topic, and also who paid for the damages. Uh, of course, when we get into a car accident, first of all, people can get hurt. So you, of course, have to go to the hospital. In some cases, you may have to be hospitalized, and we have to pay money for that. It will cost you. Or you may even have to have your car repaired, right? Repair your car, and that will cost you money as well. So who paid for the damages? I guess it depends on whose fault it was, right? Moving on to our next W question, it is what? So what kinds of car accidents have you been in, okay? Now, be in a car accident. Have you been in a car accident? So what kinds of car accidents have you been in? Have you been involved in? Another one, what kinds of car accidents have you witnessed? So we're talking about hmm, accidents that you saw with your own eyes. You don't have to be involved in it, so talk about what kinds of accidents you had, and also talk about the kinds of accidents that you saw, that you witnessed, others get into. Another one question, what could you have done to avoid the accident? Hmm. So for example, you may talk about, if I had stopped at the red light, I could have avoided the accident. If I hadn't uh, gone over the speed limit, I could have avoided the accident. So think about what you could have done to avoid the accident. Now when, when was the last time you got into a car accident? Hopefully, I would love to have all of you say, I never got into a car accident, but if you have been in a car accident in the past, talk about the last time you were in a car accident or you got into a car accident and also mention when it happened. When did it happen? Now, where did it happen? Another one, talk about the location, the area, okay, where it happened and also why. Now, why did the accident occur or happen? Of course, there could be many different reasons, so you can always talk about how or why the accident happened or occurred. Another one, our final how question, how badly was your car damaged? So how serious was the uh, accident? How badly was your car damaged? You could also add something about how badly somebody was injured as well, right? Okay, now moving on to another one. How much did the car repairs cost? Now, I did mention, if you get into a car accident, if it's a small accident, a minor fender bender, of course, you won't really have to take your car in for repairs. But if the accident happens to be a rather big accident, you will have to repair your car, right? So you will have to pay for car repairs. How much did the car repairs cost? How much did you have to pay for car repairs? Also, how much did your car insurance cover? Your car insurance company, how much did they cover? What did they cover? What did they pay for, in other words? So for example, if you want to talk about your car insurance company, if they paid for the damages, you can say, my insurance company or my insurance covered the costs, covered the damages. If the other driver was at fault, then you can say his or her car insurance covered the damages. Got it? Okay. So these are our brainstorming cues for today's topic, everyone. Keep them in mind. And let's move on. Let's listen to today's actual talk. Speaking of safe driving, today I was on my way here and I got to a, a red light. Uh -huh. I was waiting. Light turned green. I wanted to go through, but I couldn't because people were continuing and continuing to go through the red light the oh other way goodness. for at least 30 seconds. That's so inconvenient. But you know, I think it was better that you stopped because it could have led into... Of course. Into that. Well, I'm saying because... <laughs> they were going through no matter what. Yeah. And that could have caused a lot of car accidents, you know? But yeah. I guess because you stopped, it prevented some. Yeah. yeah. Do you, have you ever had a car accident? Luckily, I've never been in a car accident before. Really? Yeah. That is pretty lucky. Yeah, I feel very lucky. Well, you're young yet. <laughs> oh, great. Well, the roads can be dangerous, you know, fraught with danger. Right, that's true. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yeah. I was in a pretty big car accident once. Oh, really? I was on my way to work. I was running late, so I was, you know, a little heavy on the gas. And I, you know, I saw the yellow light coming up, so I, I hit the gas to, to get through. Yeah. Um, well, at the same time, uh, a woman in the left turn lane in front of me gunned it at the yellow light to oh get through goodness. that, and I T-boned her. I just oh, plowed wow. right into her, and I totaled three cars. I totaled my car, her car, and then she hit a third car because of my actions. Oh my goodness. And uh, the insurance company decided it was equal. Uh, uh, both of us were at equal fault, 50%. Okay. So, of course, they didn't pay me anything. <laughs> at least you didn't owe anybody anything. Yeah, but luckily nobody was really hurt, and you know, we went to the hospital and got checked out. Okay. Everything was okay. That's but, really good to hear. Yeah, it's, it's better to maybe slow down for the yellow light <laughs> than to run through. That's true. You know, they say that the yellow light is there so that you stop and get ready for the red light, <laughs> not so that you can go right through it. Yeah. But it's good to hear that you were safe. Yeah. Stay safe, guys. Okay, everyone, did you enjoy the conversation between the two? Now, Rachel did mention that, fortunately, luckily, she's never been in a car accident. Good for you, Rachel. But, well, unfortunately, well, good that you didn't get hurt, but Peter, yeah, he got into a car accident. It sounds like it was a pretty big or serious auto accident. I've been in a car accident very similar to the one he's been in as well. Mm, they're never good to be involved in. And yeah, let's take a look at what they said line by line. Peter began by saying, speaking of safe driving. So if you say speaking of something, now, it's a great way to start a conversation or start talking about something. Ah, speaking of, blah, blah. Since we're on the topic,
This we all know, a red light, we're talking about the traffic light, right? And he said, I got to, meaning perhaps he stopped at a red light, okay, red light. The light turned green, okay? So from red, it turned green, and I wanted to go through, pass through, but I couldn't. Now, why? He says, because people were continuing to go through the red light the other way, okay, for at least 30 seconds. This is a very, very long sentence, um, but do you get the idea of what actually happened? So here it is. So Peter was driving, he was coming here, and he got to a red light, so he stopped at a red light, but the light turned green. The light turned green, so he was going to go, he was gonna go, but he couldn't, he couldn't go. Why? Because other cars, people, other cars were continuing to go through the red light the other way, in the opposite direction, for at least 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds, other cars were blocking the road because they kept on going and going and going. Now do you understand? Okay, let's move on. Now Rachel says, that's so inconvenient, but I think it was better that you stopped. So she's saying, it's good that you stopped because if you had not stopped, that could have caused a lot of car accidents. Perhaps she could have said that could have caused a serious accident or that could have caused an accident. But she's saying, it's good that you stopped, okay? If you had not stopped, you could have caused car accidents. Moving on, now Peter asks, uh, Rachel, have you ever been in a car accident? Have you had a car accident? Rachel says, luckily, I've never been in a car accident before. So you can be in a car accident, okay? Or have a car accident. Now, Peter says, well, the roads can be dangerous, you know, fraught with danger. Now, what's the word fraught? F-R-A-U-G-H-T. Pronunciation is fraught, fraught, fraught. Fraught with something means full of something. So he's saying, now the roads can be dangerous. The roads can be fraught with danger, meaning full of danger. The roads can be very, very dangerous. And then uh, Rachel says, have you been in a car accident? Now, Peter tells us his story. It's a long story, so let's take it line by line. He says, yeah, I was in a pretty big car accident. Mm, pretty big car accident. He's saying it was fairly big. Now, I was on my way to work. Before he said, I was on my way here, but this time he's talking to, uh, talking about what happened in the past. I was on my way to work, okay? I was running late, meaning he did not have much time, so he was in a rush. He was moving very fast. I was running late, so I was a little heavy on the gas. What does this mean? I was heavy on the gas? Hmm. If you say I was a little heavy, you can mean that you weigh a lot. But in this case, heavy on the gas or go heavy on the gas means to step on the gas. Step on the accelerator. So gas here is not gasoline, but rather, well, of course, you need gasoline to drive. But gas here is the gas pedal or the accelerator, okay? The one you step on to go. So I was a little heavy on the gas. Mm -hmm. I sped a little bit. I saw the yellow light coming up. Coming up meaning it was about to change. The light was about to change to yellow. So what did you do? I hit the gas. Hits the gas, once again, means to step on the gas pedal to get through. So he wanted to rush through the intersection. He did not want to stop, so what? Mm, he was a bit heavy on the gas, and he hit the gas pedal, okay? He sped. Well, at the same time, a woman in the left turn lane in front of me gunned it at the yellow light to get through, and I T-boned her. Uh, great expressions here. So here's another one. To step on the gas or to step on the accelerator. Here's another one. Gun it. Gun it. We're talking about driving and speeding, stepping on the gas. Another one is, I gunned it at the yellow light, meaning I stepped on the gas pedal. I sped. But to get through, and I T-boned her. What does this word remind you of? Doesn't it remind you of T-bone steak? That's right. What does T-bone steak look like? Usually a T-bone steak, well, there is a bone that looks like a T, right? There's a bone that looks like a T. But if you use T-bone as a verb, especially in this situation, you are saying that you hit a car on the side. So you're making a T-shape, right? So he said, I T-boned her, meaning I crashed into her car, but I crashed into the side of her car. I T-boned her. Let's practice later on with T-bone, okay? Now he says, I plowed right into her. Plow, in this case, as a verb, it means to run into, to crash, to smash. So I plowed right into her, directly into her, straight into her car. And I totaled three cars. Okay, so here we know there were three cars involved, but what does total mean? Total as, I guess, a noun means uh, the total of something. Everything put together is a total of something. But here as a verb, to total a car especially, it means to totally wreck your car, demolish your car, okay? You are totally, completely damaging your car. So I totaled three cars. I seriously damaged three cars, okay? I wrecked three cars. I totaled my car, her car, and then she hit a third car. She hit a third car because of my actions. Hmm. So of course, he caused the accident, but the other lady, the one that he T-boned, hit a third car. So, well, that accident, it led to three cars, okay? Now, three cars were totaled. Let's move on. Of course, Rachel says, oh my goodness. And he says, and the insurance company decided that both of us, okay, she and I, were at equal fault, 50%. So it was 50% my fault, it was 50% her fault. We were at equal fault. We were at equal fault, okay? So of course, they didn't pay me anything, they meaning the insurance company, and he says, luckily, nobody was hurt. And they went to the hospital and got checked out, meaning they just checked to see if they were okay, if they were seriously injured or not, they checked themselves out at the hospital. And then of course, Rachel says, that's really good to hear. Moving on, it's better to slow down for the yellow light than to run through it, meaning go through it, pass through it. So you should slow down for the yellow light or at a yellow light, okay? And then she says, the yellow light is there so that you stop and get ready for the red light. Exactly, that's what a yellow light is. So, okay, yellow light is there so that you stop and get ready for the red light, not so that you can go right through it. So it's good to hear that you were safe. So at the end, they were talking about the traffic light. Once again, a reminder, if you see the light changing to yellow, you should get ready to stop, okay, stop for the red light. So keep that in mind. Of course, now, light changes. The traffic light changes to red, yellow, or green when you speak in English. All right, that is a conversation for actual talk today. Listen one more time and at the same time check out the subtitles speaking of safe driving today i was on my way here and i got to a, a red light uh -huh. i was waiting it light turned green i wanted to go through but i couldn't because people were continuing and continuing to go through the red light the oh other way goodness. for at least 30 seconds that's so inconvenient but you know i think it was better that you stopped because it could have led well, of course yeah, well, i'm saying because <laughs> they were going through no matter what yeah and that could have caused a lot of car accidents you know but yeah. i guess because you stopped it prevented some yeah. Yeah. Do you, have you ever had a car accident luckily i've never been in a car accident before. really yeah that is pretty lucky uh, yeah i feel very lucky well you're young yet <laughs> oh great <laughs> well the roads can be dangerous you know fraught with danger right that's true have you ever been in a car accident yeah i was in a pretty big car accident once oh really i was on my way to work i was running late so i was you know a little heavy on the gas and I, you know, I saw the yellow light coming up, so I, I hit the gas to, to get through. Yeah. Um, well, at the same time, uh, a woman in the left turn lane in front of me 
gunned it at the light to oh, get through goodness. that, and I T-boned her. I just oh, plowed wow. right into her. And I totaled three cars. I totaled my car, her car, and then she hit a third car because of my actions. Oh my goodness. And uh, the insurance company decided it was equal, uh, uh, both of us were at equal fault, okay. 50%. So of course they didn't pay me anything. <laughs> at least you didn't owe anybody anything. Yeah, but luckily nobody was really hurt, and you know, we went to the hospital and got checked out. Okay. Everything was okay. That's really good to hear. Yeah, it's, it's better to maybe slow down for the yellow light <laughs> than to run through. That's true. You know, they say that the yellow light is there so that you stop and get ready for the red light, <laughs> not so that you can go right through it. Yeah. But it's good to hear that you're safe. Yeah. Stay safe. Though. Now it's time for today's actual expressions, everyone, related to car accidents. Now, I do have a lot of terms, so I'm going to try and go through them as quickly as possible. But of course, I will try to make them easy for you to understand. So let's take a look. First of all, you can talk about getting hit by another car. So another car hits you, crashes into your car. In that situation, you can say, I was involved in a major or minor head-on collision three months ago. Let's take a look at this. Of course, major, and we have minor, OK? Major is serious. Minor is the opposite. It's a small accident, and a major accident is a big accident, OK? But here we have collision and head-on. Head-on means what? Head. Okay, so head on meaning head on crush. Okay, so head on collision is where two cars smash into each other. They crash into each other. But since you said head on, okay, they are crashing into each other. So the front car, I mean the front of this car and the front of this car. Okay, I think in Korean it is chungdol. Okay, so chungdol is a head on collision, and you can say it happened three months ago. Okay, what about chudol then? There's a difference. Chungdol and chudol. If chungdol is head on collision, chudol is basically rear end collision. And collision itself means, of course, you're smashing into. Collide means to crash or smash into something. So I was involved in a major head on collision or a minor head on collision three months ago. Keep these patterns in mind, everyone. Another one is I got into a fender bender. I got into a small accident. These two mean the same thing. What is a fender? Our cars have fenders, right? Front fenders and rear fenders. They're kind of on the side, okay, towards the front of our car. But if you say, you got into a fender bender, it means just a very small accident, a minor accident. You can also say, I got into a small accident. It was a fender bender. It was a small accident. Keep those words in mind. Another one, a car with a flat tire swerved into my car. Now there's weave and there's swerve, okay? Swirl, swerve, it's this motion. So a car with a flat tire swerved into my car. So that car was not going straight. It was swerving and it crashed into my car. So swerve into my car. That was an accident. Now, Another one, a car kept tailgating me and eventually rear-ended my car. Let's take a look at uh, these two expressions here. Tailgate. To tailgate basically means to drive very closely to the car in front of you. You're not keeping a safe distance. You're driving so close to that car. That is tailgating. Tailgating. So a car kept on tailgating me and eventually, as a result, rear-ended my car. Okay, to rear-end something. Rear-end a car means to hit from the back. Rear means back, right? So rear-ended means to hit from the back. Keep those in mind as well. A van once T-boned me. We take a look at T-bone, right? So if you want to talk about a situation where a car crashes into the side of another car, use the verb T-bone. So a van once T-boned me. A van once hit my car from the side or on the side, okay? Okay, now, talking about hitting another vehicle, this time let's focus on an accident that you caused. You hit another car, okay? I collided with or I ran into a truck in front of me. Remember collision, head-on collision? To collide with means to crash into. So I collided with a truck, I bumped into a truck, or I ran into a truck in front of me. It all means to crash into. Another one, I plowed into a parked car. Plow into also is, I guess, much of a dangerous, a pretty serious accident. You crashed into a parked car. I ran into a parked car. I plowed into a parked car. Okay, another one, I backed into a wall and wrecked. I backed into a wall and damaged my car. Now these two words mean the same thing. I put damaged here for you to easily understand wrecked means. Wreck means to damage. But what happened? You were backing into a wall. I backed into a wall and damaged my car. Back into something means to drive reverse, to drive backwards, okay? I backed into a wall, I was driving backwards and ran into a wall and wrecked my car, damaged my car. I ran into a post and scraped or dented my rear fender. Now the focus on these words here, these verbs, Okay, these are minor accidents, right? Just a scrape, just a scratch, just a poop dent. It's not a big accident. All right, let's move on. Talking about avoided accidents, okay? You can say, I gunned it. It was an actual talk. I stepped on the gas. I went heavy on the gas to avoid the crash. So, so that the accident did not happen, I gunned it, stepped on the gas, and went heavy on the gas. It all means to, that's right, step on the accelerator to speed up, okay? Keep these expressions in mind. Also, I slammed on the brakes this time. You could slam on the gas. You could also slam on the brakes, okay? So you're stepping on the brakes. You slam on the brakes. I slammed on the brakes when a car appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, that's right. There are blind spots, which we call today in Korean. today is blind spot, right? But sometimes cars, motorcycles, even children appear out of nowhere all of a sudden. So you could slam on the brakes and avoid an accident. Now also, I couldn't see ahead of me because you didn't have clear visual, right? You can say, I couldn't see ahead of me because of heavy fog or even heavy snow. I could not see ahead of me, in front of me. Another one, I had low visibility. It means the same thing. I could not see very clearly ahead of me. I had low visibility. I couldn't really see in front of me due to or because of what? Heavy rain or a downpour. A downpour is, I guess, heavy rain. It's when it's raining really, really, really hard. That's right, we often cannot see uh, what happens in front of us. Also, let's talk about talking about witnessing car accidents. Remember, we were brainstorming. What kinds of accidents did you see? Did you witness? You can say, I once reported a hit and run. Hit and run is things only in Korean. So a car hits another car and just goes away, just runs away. That's a hit and run. So I once called the police, reported a hit and run. Another one, I once witnessed a major or serious car accident, meaning a very big car accident. And also, uh, another one is, I think he was driving under the influence. You can talk about a situation, an accident that you saw, and you could say, hmm, I think he was drunk driving. So you can say, I think he was driving under the influence. In other words, it means, I think he was drunk driving. Now this driving under the influence, cut it short, it's DUI, remember? Okay, another one, I think he fell asleep behind the wheel. 
Behind the wheel, this itself means while driving. Okay, so he fell asleep while driving. He fell asleep behind the wheel. I think that is what happened. So you can think about, uh, you can talk about these things. Just keep in mind these patterns and these expressions, all right, everyone? Uh, a few really, really quick ones. After the accident, you can talk about injuries, okay? I suffered whiplash because of the accident. A whiplash is a neck injury that we often get in car accidents. If somebody hits you from the back, if somebody rear ends you, your neck, what? It moves suddenly forward and backward. So if you have a neck injury, that is called a whiplash, okay? I suffered whiplash. Another one. I had to take my car in for repairs. Take someone's car in for repairs, okay? And also, I had to have my car towed. A tow truck came and towed my car. One last one, my insurance company covered the damages. So if you want to say that your car insurance company, they took care of it, they took care of the cost, you can say, my insurance company covered the damages. All right, everyone, that is all for today's actual expressions. Keep these in mind, and let's move on. Time for a quick break, everyone. Relax, relax your shoulders, your arms, your neck, everything, and get ready for today's idiom. Today's idiom is wrap one's car around something. Hmm. Wrap one's car around something. You can wrap your arm around someone or arms around someone. Now, what does this idiom mean? Here is a sentence. If she hadn't tried to text while driving, she wouldn't have wrapped her car around that phone booth. Hmm. So, what is the definition? Let's check it out. Now, wrap one's car around something means, in Korean, 어느 정도 빠른 속도에서 무언가에 부딪히다, 충돌하다, okay? 추돌하다, 충돌하다. To drive one's car into something at a fairly high speed, okay? At a fast speed, you're bumping into something, okay? So, wrap one's car around something. Here is another sample sentence. I wrapped my car around a tree because I was trying to do my makeup while driving. It's very dangerous to do your makeup behind the wheel while driving, so you should not do that. One more time. I wrapped my car around a tree because I was trying to do my makeup while driving or behind the wheel. Keep it in mind, everyone, and please be careful so that you don't wrap your car around something. Are you a safe driver? Have you ever been in an auto accident? If yes, describe how it happened in detail. If not, talk about some major auto accidents that you've heard of. What are some safe driving tips that you can give? I do have a driver's li license in this country, but um, I don't really drive, so I don't know if I can call myself a safe driver. And um, last week, I was in my mom's car with my sister and my puppy. So um, my mom was driving, and my sister was in the front seat, and I was in the back with my puppy. Uh, like so. When my mom was supposed to stop with a red light, she kind of like she was talking to us, and she wasn't really focused on the driving. So she hit the car in the front with her um the mirror on the side. So like, it wasn't really dangerous, but then um still it was a um, car accident. So she had to take care of things with the other driver. So um after that accident, I learned that um, when you're driving, you really have to focus on the driving and what's going on in, um, in the front. Because um if you're not, you can get in any like trouble, really dangerous troubles. And that was today's actual interview. Thanks to, of course, Choi Ta Hee Min. Wonderful interview. Thank you. Now she did tell us about something that happened while she was sitting in the back seat. Right? She was not driving. Her mother was. She did mention she does have a driver's license. However, she does not drive. Now let's check it out. Some great points. Great things she mentioned in the interview. First of all, she said, "I do have a driver's license in this country, in Korea, but I don't really drive. So I don't know if I can call myself a safe driver." Of course, we began by asking her, "Are you a safe driver? Do you think you are a safe driver?" But wonderful job. She did give an example by saying, "I do have a driver's license, but I don't drive here, so I'm not sure. I don't know if I can call myself a safe driver." Great job. Another one. She told us about her mother, right? How her mother was driving and her sister was sitting in the passenger seat. Now, Tahini was sitting in the back seat. So she had to take care of things with the other driver. This is what happened after the accident, right? Her mom ran into another car, so she had to take care of things with the other driver. Okay, with the other driver, the car that she ran into. Some oopsies. Now she says, "When my mom was supposed to stop with a red light, she was talking to us." So we understand the situation, right? Here we have a red light. She was talking to her daughters, and she was supposed to stop. But what is strange here? With a red light, really sounds awkward, right? So just a small correction. When my mom was supposed to stop at a red light, she was talking to us, hmm, meaning she didn't stop at a red light. Another oopsie is, so she hit the car in the front with the mirror on the side. So what sounds awkward here? Now, she's talking about what happened because she did not stop at a red light. So she hit, she ran into, she bumped into, she crushed. Uh, she hit the car in the front with a mirror on the side. Mirror on the side, I think she was talking about the side mirrors, the side view mirrors, right? So you can say, so she hit the car in front of us, okay? Not in the front, but in front of us with the side view mirror, okay? So I guess it wasn't a major accident. It was a rather small accident, perhaps a fender bender, right? Well, fortunately it was, and yeah, it's good that nobody got hurt. Okay, job well done, everyone. That is all for today's actual interview. Well, as I did mention in the beginning of today's lesson, car accidents are predictable and preventable. It is important that we abide by traffic laws, and by wearing our seatbelts, we can decrease the number of injuries, of course, caused by car accidents. There are so many things we can do to save many, many lives, especially out on the road. So everyone, drive safely, and hope you all are safe drivers. So today we talked about car accidents, mm, something we wish would never happen to any of us, but please do keep in mind the expressions and terms we learned today, just in case you happen to talk about the topic. Now, next time we'll be joining you back with this topic. We'll be talking about the police and emergencies. There are times that you have to report a crime, an accident, and that means you have to call the police or ask for help in emergencies. Tune in for that. In the meantime, you can always come to our homepage, find your way to www www.ebse.co.kr and search for Jennifer Actual Speaking. You're more than welcome to come by, swing by to say hello. That's a wrap for today, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.